everybody, it's Logic Bomb 82 with the Minecraft Union. Today we're going to set up a dedicated server for Colony Survival. Uh, this is going to be on the Windows platform. First thing you're going to need to do is download Steam CMD. Most of you who followed my videos probably already have it, but if you don't, you can just Google Steam CMD. It'll be your first hit here. Hit that. And then click on the Windows. And right up here is the link to actually download it. And you're going to want to save it. Save the file, hit OK, and download it. Well, I've already done all this. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract it. I like to put it directly onto my C drive in its own little folder. Usually I just call it Steam CMD. As you can see, I have a shortcut here on my desktop. When you open it up, it's going to be blank if it's the first time you've done it. So you're going to want to run the Steam CMD. It's going to download some files. It'll fill in your folder to, look at, looks, to make it look similar to mine. Once it's all done and you're at this prompt here, type in login anonymous, hit enter. And it's going to log you in and then you're going to want to do a update. No, sorry, hold on, sorry. App underscore update and the ID number I'm forgetting it right now, hold on one second, is you listed right here. So you want seven four eight zero nine zero. That's the uh, dedicated server for uh, Colony Survival. Hit enter. It's going to download the files for you here. There's not a whole bunch here. It shouldn't take too long. I've already done it, so it just says it's up to date. So once you have that done, just hit exit. And then if you go back to your Steam a Steam Apps folder, go to Common. And then you should see a folder that says Colony Survival Dedicated Server. So go into it. And then all these files are going to be here. You're going to have all these except for this one I made, which is what you want to do. So right click in the folder somewhere and go New, do Text Document. And then rename your text document to whatever you want, something that's going to start. This is going to be the thing you run to start the server. So mine's just start cs.bat. And then it's going to ask you if you want to change the file type to say yes, because you want it to be a .bat. If you're, if you're not able to do it from there and it still has a .txt at the end, go up here to view and put a check mark here where it says file name extensions. Then you'll be able to edit it from here. So once you get all that done, you're going to want to open it with Notepad. Or if you have Notepad++, it's free. I recommend it. Whatever. Anything will work. A notepad is, you know, built in. So. Once you have that done, you're going to want to copy most of my commands I have listed right here. Um, it's colony server dedicated.exe, and then you want the plus symbol, you type in server.name, and then you put in the name of your server, which is mine, just minecraftunion.com, and then you put a space and then a plus symbol. So basically every different argument you have in here, you need a plus in between. So you need the server name. And then you need the server max players. You don't have to have that default as 10. If you don't set it, it's just set at 10. I made mine 20. And then the server world um, is just whatever you want to name it. So it keeps the different worlds saved. Mine's called Minecraft Union. And the server network type, this is pretty important. Um, if you want it to be public, you need to put this as Steam Online. You can just put it as LAN if you want it just to be a local area network just for you and your family. But if you want it to be online so other people can access it, you need to put this plus server.network type space steam online. Once you have all that input, just go file save. Um, also, one other thing I'm going to show you before we start. If you run the colony survival dedicated.exe right here, it actually shows you a list of different server settings you can put in there. So you can put those in there if you want. If you want to change anything, you just put them in at the beginning of your .bat that you made there. But that's it. But so far, what we want to do is we want to run this start cs.bat, and then you'll see it start up. And if everything goes right, it's going to look very similar to this, and it's going to say connected to the Steam servers with your public IP, and that Steam is online, and that is exactly what you're looking for, and you're good to go. So once that up, once that's up, everybody should be able to connect to your server, hop in, check out the game, and play. Your friends should be able to join. You do have to open port two seven zero one five on your router or firewall so people can connect. That's pretty standard. Um, so if you've made servers before, you probably already have it open. It's pretty common to Steam port. So 
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the chat. Also, please subscribe and have a great day.